back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, we are going to review top 10 best charting libraries for React framework. While building React applications, there are chances that you might require to plot graphs, timeline series, or charts, etc. to represent your data. This tutorial will help you understand the top 10 best charting libraries that you can use in your React applications. Let's get started. Before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to our friends at Fusion Charts. Fusion Charts provides excellent dashboards, charts, graphs, and much, much more. Their charts can be integrated into React, Angular, Native JavaScript, and much more. There are different types of charts, dashboards that we can use for building financial applications or mission critical enterprise applications, which require instant charts with beautiful, elegant layouts. You can check out more about them at fusioncharts.com and you can check out why top leading companies use them in different, different ways. These are all data driven maps that you can use, explore and integrate in your applications. So thank you Fusion Charts. Let's get started. The first charting library for React framework in our list is ReCharts. It's a beautiful composable charting library built on React components. It's free to download, so go ahead and give it a try. You can check out it recharts.org. You can have different types of charts based on different data sets that you want, and you can easily plot them into React components. That's number one on our list. Number two is react-chart.js-version2. The React components are based on chart.js which is again a popular charting library which is used with different frameworks. React Chart.js supports the chart.js version 3 and version 2 as well. Again, this is free to download and get started. It's available as a npm package and the link is here npm.js package react chart.js2. So go ahead, give it a try as well. There are different flavors and variations that you can use. There is different examples that you can see of how you can do a vertical, horizontal, stacked, grouped, etc. The charts itself look very beautiful and can be used in a different way depending upon how your data is arranged. The next library that we have is Victory. React.js components for modular charting and data visualization. If you are looking at something advanced in terms of data visualization, charting, graphing, you must consider Victory library. It can be used with React and React Native as well. Now, this provides a lot of charting components and also has an API which can be integrated into our applications. Do check it out. The next one on our list is Whisk. It is developed by Airbnb and Whisk in a name which is used by most React chart libraries. A lot of, I know, I personally know a lot of enterprise applications which use Whisk in as their charting library. Again, this is based on D3, like if you have a lot of data, you want to visualize them, etc. You should check out Airbnb IO slash Whisk. Again, a beautiful set of components that you can readily available to visualize a lot of heavy data if you are working with that. The next one on our list is Nevo. Nevo provides a rich set of data with components built on top of D3 and React. Yet again, this is one of my personal favorites libraries. It provides a lot of beautiful tools that you can use to plot the different types of data, especially let's say you want to have any um, complex data sets, right? They are beautiful, elegant. You can easily plot them in whichever way you want. They are interactive and provides much cleaner um, look and feel to your overall application. So this is my personal favorite as well. So do give this a try, nevo.rocks. The next one on our list is react-vis. Now this is a library from Uber. So react-vis is a um, set of um, components which are easy to plot, heavy data visualization needs, right? Uh, your charting components needs to be scalable, dynamic, all of that is integrated into React Viz. Do check out the Uber GitHub 
and you can see the different charts that you can use to plot and the data that you can visualize in your applications. The next one on our list is Biz Charts. Now this is a library from Alibaba. React, um, these are all dynamically integrated with the React ES6. They are easy to use, they are strongly typed, uh, which means that you can use most of the data visualization charts commonly used ones are available. It's an open source library, which means anybody can get started just by cloning them. You can check it out at their GitHub link, which is Alibaba slash biz charts. Again, there is a lot of documentation, different types of charts that you can see and explore and customize based on your applications requirements. The next one is rumble charts. It's a react JS components for building composable and flexible charts. It's based on D3.js under the hood, which means when you're working with a large data set and you want to do data visualization, data mapping, absolutely useful chart to use. You can check it out at rumblecharts.github.io. Now you can see here the magic, how it is simply, these are all React components. You can see how to chart them easily. They are responsive. They can be accommodated into any device resolutions. Now the next one is one of the things that you must explore if you're working in banking and financial sector, which is React stock charts. Now this is absolutely customizable stock charts with D3 and React JS component. Now when you talk about stock charts, the requirement is pretty much that the di data changes dynamically. There's a lot of different types of charts that are available. You can see here, Scatter, Renko, Kegi, etc. Easy to get started and MIT license, which means you can feel free to use them in your commercial applications. The next is the React time series. Now this library contains a set of modular charting components for building flexible interactive charts in React framework. Now it can be available at software.es.net and you can see a lot of examples of how real time data can be plotted. Simple applications like bar chart, trend example, cycling, and much, much more, right? Currency, there are so many charts available. So all of these libraries support al mostly commonly used libraries and graphs and data visualization maps, much more. Now, this is your turn to tell me which is your favorite among this list? What do you like about them? Your experience by using these libraries. Please let us know in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe, like, share and comment on the videos. If you want to get featured on our tutorials, write to me at surya.aradhya@gmail.com. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you in the next episode.